To conclude your refresher training, we are going to look at the worst case scenario, when firefighters find themselves in an area where the fire behavior is exceeding their expectations, their escape routes cut off, or their safety zone is not proving to be adequate. Now, Despite our hopes of never being in this position, we still need to plan for it. For this reason, you are still required to get with your local facilitator and review the proper procedures for deploying your fire shelters. We want to remind you that there are still two types of fire shelters in the system. And although the deployment procedures are very similar, there are a few differences between the new generation fire shelter and the older model. The transition to the new generation fire shelters for federal agencies should be complete by the end of 2008. For non-federal, it will be complete by the end of 2009. It's your responsibility to know which model you're carrying on the fire line and how to properly deploy it if necessary. Your local facilitator will now review these procedures with you and help you practice the deployment sequence. Thank you very much for your attention and participation during this program, and we want to wish you a very safe fire season.